there are a lot of football clubs in London, but no one could seem to agree which one's best. But there's only one way to prove with 100% accuracy who the top dogs are, and we're going to do it using FIFA imperialism. These are the 13 biggest football clubs based around London. Each team owns some land and will spin a wheel and an arrow to decide which way a club has to attack. The two teams will then battle it out and the winner will claim the other's land. Oh yeah, and there's a secret mystery upgrade for capturing the city of London that I'll explain later in the video. Once one team has taken all the land, they will prove themselves as the best club. So, choose your team and let's see who really rules London. But let's get right into it and spin the wheel for the first time today. I'm so excited to see who our first contestant's going to be. It's going to be Wimbledon. But which way will they attack? They'll have it easy if they go any other way than north. Oh dear. Yeah, if you support Wimbledon, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not looking good, Bev. Oh my god, look at their starting lineup. They're literally not how many players higher than 64. That is embarrassing. And they were going to be going up against defenders like Thiago Silva. I don't know what they thought they were going to do here. To be honest, if Wimbledon actually managed to get even one goal, I'll give away like 100 quid. I don't, I don't think they're going to do very good. Oh my god, he's actually got past people. This is Wimbledon on the attack. Wow, that was terrible. Oh, there's Chelsea in the box. I feel nope. like this is Ooh, he actually saved it. Fair enough. And at half time, Chelsea must have had a Snickers bar in the locker room because they started playing like themselves and put one away. No surprises there. But Wimbledon weren't going down without a fight. And in the 87th minute, they did this. Oh my god! Oh! Oh, no, he's in the box! Oh, how unlucky! And then that's going to be it. That's full time. And that means that Wimbledon are out and Chelsea take their land. But I really thought Chelsea were going to start off stronger in this competition. They were already starting to feel a bit shaky. Do you know what I mean? But oh yeah, I forgot to tell you something else that makes this really interesting. Every time a team goes out from the competition, their best player is transferred to the winning team. But I'm going to be honest, transferring even the best player from Wimbledon to Chelsea is going to downgrade Chelsea. But they can have this speedy winger, Jay Asimi, and he'll have to go on the bench because he can't go on the main team. And let's spin to see who's going to be the second competitor in this contest. I'm excited. Ooh, is it going to be? It's going to be Arsenal. Do we have any Arsenal fans in the audience? Get, Get out. But let's just see which way they're going to be heading. Oh, they're going to be going east. Which had them facing Leighton Orient. Rev, who are these people? Oggy, oggy, oggy. Oi, oi, oi. So this should be an easy win for Leighton Orient. I mean, Arsenal. And right at the start, Orient through the game. That looked like a pen. It is. It's so bad. Oh, it's Saka to take a pen. Let's hope it's not a repeat of the Euros 2020 final. Oh, and it's not. He's put it in the back of the net. And that opened the floodgates for Arsenal. They put two more against Leighton Orient and knocked them out of the competition. And yeah, Leighton Orient's best player is this McCart, so we're going to take him. He can go on Arsenal's bench, but after that first game, I think that Arsenal are unfortunately going to go far in this competition. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention what happens with this mystery power-up. If a team crosses this piece of land and claims the City of London, they will win themselves a mystery transfer of one of the best players in the Premier League at the moment. So whichever team takes that part of land is going to be very lucky. But next up, it was versus QPR. When were QPR even last in the Premier League? Bloody hell, it was 996 before I was even bored. I mean, it is looking a bit better for QPR though. They have got a literal chair playing for them though. I don't know if that's allowed. But come on, QPR. You know what? I'm going to vote for the underdogs here. Also, why does Harry Kane speak like he's got like 12 oranges in his mouth? Every meme I see him and he's like, come on! I speak of the devil. He's in the box and he's had a shot, but it's been saved. Oh, the QPR's keeper's haircut is fresh. Look at that. You could cook diamonds with that. Better than my haircut. Look at this. I literally look like 45 years old. But in the 38 for a minute, Spurs got lucky in the box and buried it in the net. And in the second half, they got even luckier with this pee roller of a oh, shot. Whoa, what the hell? I wasn't expecting that to go in. That was across the ground. That was like a snail crawling in the goal. And the ref is just blown for the final whistle, which is going to knock QPR out of competition. But anyway, QPR's best man is this player called Dick, Dick, Dickie. And he can go on the bench for Spurs. And next up was Sutton versus Crystal Palace. And Palace got lucky and scored this deflection in extra time and took Sutton's land. And they also took this I don't know your name. Okay. And next we had Millwall versus Charlton. And Millwall put away this clean header and took Charlton out the competition. And they also took this player called Hector, who had no mouth, nose, or eyes. Last chance to look at me, Hector. And if we take a look at the map now, we can see that Millwall are the only non-Premier League team left in this, and all those other little teams got wiped out pretty fast. And remember, a team is still yet to battle over the City of London, which will give them a mystery transfer, and I'm excited to see who that's going to be. But let's get back to spinning this wheel and see who's going to be the next team to compete for London. It's going to be West Ham. And I don't get why they're called West Ham, because they're all east of the map. Do they not know where they are? Well, let's just spin the arrow and see which way they're going to be heading. Ooh, that's going to be Millwall. A championship team that I don't think have ever been in the Premier League. Imagine if they made it far in this competition. That would be insane. But in the 23rd minute, West Ham caught them lacking. It, oh, and it is. West Ham have put it away. Come on, Millwall. you got to put your names on the map. Like, literally. Second half, lads. 
and you pull something out your ass. But Millwall couldn't salvage anything, and by 90 minutes, they were out the competition. And West Ham can have this, uh... Ooh, that's an unfortunate last name. Non! No, they could have this Fleming. Get on the bench. But next, it was Crystal Palace versus Chelsea. Oh, it's not going to be an easy one for Palace. I think they might be out in this one. But turns out, I was chatting bollocks. It's on time! Oh, my God! Crystal Palace have put one up against Chelsea! No way, that's just happened! Imagine if Chelsea go out to Crystal Palace. That is insane. Oh, yeah, and if you're enjoying this FIFA Imperialism video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, because I'm going to do loads more. But would Chelsea fight back in the second half? This is going in, isn't it? Oh, they've done it as soon as second half starts. And they had another one for good measure and took Crystal Palace land. And Chelsea are going to take this Wilfred Zaha. And he's not going to go on the bench for Chelsea because he's got five star skills and 90 pace. So he's going to come off this Chuck Wameka. <gasps> well, let's get this wheel spinning again and see who's going to be next in this competition. It's going to be the Gunners. But which way are they going to be charging? Let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh. They're going south. But do you know what that means? They have to travel through the city of London to face West Ham, which means the winner of this team is going to claim a mystery transfer and that means the mystery man is being shuttled in down to london and he will be presented to the winning team after this game and let me tell you he's so tall he banged his head getting on the coach and for the whole game none of them could get through and by 120 minutes they still couldn't be separated oh please don't make it come down to pen lads oh my god really oh but i've just been told that the mystery transfer has arrived at the stadium and is about to be presented as soon as we find out who wins this penalty shootout oh saka to go first what a man why would you put him on first so much pressure oh Oh my god, how do they keep him not save that? This this must be rigged. And both teams were tucking away their penalties until West Ham missed one and it came down to Granite Xhaka with the advantage. Is he going to be filthy and get Arsenal the transfer? He is! He's going to do it for Arsenal and that means they take the land of West Ham and the mystery transfer. And it is Haaland! 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 And he is going to go, of course, up front instead of Gabriel Jesus. And next, Brentford attacked Fulham and succeeded taking their land. And also this Paulinho. So now, these are the four teams left in this competition, but only one can be claimed the best in London. And our first quarter finalists were Brentford and Chelsea. I feel like it's going to be pretty impossible for Brentford here, but let's see if they'll surprise us. And they did just that with this corner. That's a brilliant header! Oh my god, Brentford have just put one away! Sensational seeds from Brentford! They actually might claim London, what the hell? And they always say, never let them know your next move, and Brentford did just oh, that. what? Another P-roller! How has that gone in? Brentford are actually 2-0 up against Chelsea. But Chelsea wouldn't just lie down and take it. Your goal. Oh, it is. Chelsea have come back to one goal down. But it's the 90th minute. This is going to be Chelsea's last attack. If they mess this up, it's going to be over. And they have. There's a time when every small team in their lives achieves greatness. Is that going to be one of those times? Is the referee going to blow for final? And that's it. The referee's blown and Brentford have made it through. It is an absolute tale of greatness here today for Brentford. So unbelievable. Chelsea were out and Brentford were through. Which means that Brentford aren't going to be taking N'Golo Kante because he's injured at the moment. So they're going to take this Thiago Silva instead. Who's going to be our semi-finalist? There's only three teams remaining now, so it's getting really close. But it's going to be the Gunners. And which way are they going to be charging? They've only got two options, but they're going to be going against Brentford. But Arsenal now have Haaland and look, there he is. He's the main man for their team now. You've got the Burj Khalifa in the box. Why wouldn't you just cross it in? Oh my God, Brentford are in the box. Oh, the goalkeeper saved it. And would Arsenal punish them for it? Can Haaland put it away? he has he has put arsenal one nil up against brentford and it might mark the end of brentford's run in this competition but in the second half brentford had a chance oh what brentford are through in the middle oh my god oh they've equalized oh they've actually gone and done it they're now level with arsenal I don't believe it Brent, if brentford actually managed to be the best club in london i i don't i can't make videos anymore but gabriel jesus found some space and he had a crack have a shot Oh, they've got it. They've put themselves a hurt. Oh, and this is going to be another one for Arsenal. And that's it. It's over. It's four minutes into extra time. And I've got to say, I am disappointed for Brentford. They came very far. But Arsenal will be taking their land. Which now just leaves two teams in the final. Who is going to be crowned the best club in London? Tottenham Hotspur or Arsenal? And was Haaland going to help Arsenal bring it home? Haaland's in on goal. He's flipped it. So Spurs started cranking up the pressure. And in the 68th minute, they did this. That's a beautiful step over. And he's put it right in the top bin to put on the 1-0 up. Is he going to pass it in or have a shot? He's back heeled it again. What a save by the keeper. It's the 90th minute and Tottenham are on the attack. I don't think Arsenal are going to get another chance. As soon as this gets cleared, it's going to be full time. The ref's got a blow and he has. That's it. It's all over. And that means Tottenham take all of London and claim themselves to be the best team in London. Now, if you enjoyed this FIFA Imperialism video, you're going to like this one even more because it's better than this one, to be honest. So go watch it now.